Everybody wants to become the best at chess on a normal chessboard, but I, I want to become the best at miniature chess on a mini chessboard. Why? Because my friend said that I could never beat him at chess. And he's probably right, since he's rated over 2500. But if I was able to learn all the strategy behind this smaller variant of chess, I just might be able to prove him wrong and finally say that I was better than him at at least one variant of chess. So I challenged him to play in three days, and he thinks this will be an easy win for him, a victory royale. But this is where my plan comes in. I'm gonna use the time I have to train and master 5x5 chess and beat him in this variant. I will admit, this is a pretty big goal, but I have three days to prepare, so let's just get started. So I guess this is what we're going to start off with, this 5x5 uh, five five chessboard. I literally have no idea what the strategy is here. In the first game, I had no idea what I was doing, and before I knew it, all my pieces had met their maker, and I was about to get checkmated. Alright, nice, we lost to the easiest level computer, let's go guys. This was obviously not a good start, and I knew I had to come up with a plan, or in three days, I would stand no chance of winning. Okay, listen, here's a plan uh, that I came up with. I'm going to play this chess computer until I can beat it on every difficulty, then I think I'll be ready to play some real players, some actual real life humans. Even though at first I didn't know what I was doing, it didn't take too long for me to get comfortable with this board and kind of understand how things worked. But after playing against these computers a bunch of times, I realized a huge problem. Okay, so these openings that the computer plays are just kind of always the same thing. So if you beat them once, you can basically do the exact same thing and beat them in the next game. That's probably not good. After realizing this flaw in the chess engine, I knew I had to play real players. But I didn't want to play just random people. I wanted to learn from the best. So I messaged the best chess players I knew and asked them to play me in some 5x5 chess games. Alright, so I just messaged a Canada's master who's like 2300 a 2000 rated player and a few other really good players so while we wait for those people to respond I guess I'll just play some random people on chess.com here and see if I can actually beat real chess players okay so if he takes back with his pawn he just loses right yes okay I think I just won nice playing against these real players was way better than just playing against the computer since I would see positions in these games that I hadn't ever seen before and I really just had to think about my moves more often I was already learning a lot about what openings were best and the traps to avoid and while I would win most games I still lost a fair amount as well which resulted in this situation Okay, we're black here. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I've never seen that opening before. I guess I'll go here then. I already don't like my position here. His pawns are really scary there. Yeah, I can only hope for a draw here probably. Oh my gosh, I lost my bishop. What am I doing with my life? And after losing that game, I offered a rematch and played this person five more times and proceeded to lose four out of those five games. I was a little depressed at this point, so I decided to call it a day and wait until tomorrow where I would train against some of the strongest players who hopefully would make me way better and prepare me for my final match, which was in two days. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. This is Sireno Losi, a candidate's master and FIDE licensed instructor who's almost 2400 in Rapid. And today, I was going to be playing him in a 5x5 chess match, in the same exact format that I would be playing in two days. First to three wins gets the victory, and here we were going to see how good I actually was. The first game, my opponent started off with probably the best opening move and I responded with what the expert level computer always did when I played it. A few moves later, I thought our positions were about equal, and this probably would have been a draw if I didn't do this. Yeah, I have no idea why I sacrificed that rook, but I was now losing. This pawn was going to promote, and I had to stop it. My opponent ended up sacrificing his rook, and now if I took it, the pawn promotes and I lose. So I moved my king over here instead, and lost anyway. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Good game. The second game, I was in more control. I didn't blunder any pieces, and I thought my position was pretty good. The only problem was, my opponent's position was really good as well. Yeah, it's probably just a draw, right? I think so, yeah. Probably, yeah. This is extremely hard, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was happy with the draw here, and we moved into our third game, with the score being 0.5 to 1.5. The opening went similar to our first match, except I managed to get white into a Zugzwang position, meaning the only legal moves for white were losing material. So, Siren no Losi was forced to sacrifice a bishop. This was my moment to win the game. I was up a bishop, so if I could just come up with a plan to convert this position, I would tie up this match right here. As long as I didn't get, like, checkmated in the next two moves, everything would be fine. Oh my goodness, I did not see that. <laughs> this was just an L moment, okay? Uh, don't judge me. Getting into our third game, the score was now 0.5 to 2.5. I needed to win this. I couldn't be sacrificing random pieces for no reason. I couldn't even get a draw. This had to be a win. I started off with the tried and true opening. We traded a few pieces, and then we ended up in this position, which typically would be a draw. But if I drew this game, that would put my opponent at three wins, and it would be the same as a loss. So I had to play for the win. I tried my best, but still ended up losing. Even though I lost, yes. playing these games really helped me to understand 
how this variant worked and what strategies I needed to use in order to win. And this CM is a chess coach. So look, if any of you watching this want to actually get better at chess, he said you can message him on chess.com. So here's his account if you want to improve at chess. Calculation becomes very important. Okay. I have realized that here you can fall in Sook's one at any moment. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because so you keep your pieces trapped When it comes really to Sook's one, yeah, and Sook's one is always a very tricky, but I, I like this Byron. And with this valuable experience and new knowledge from Sereno Losi, I went back to playing random people online and won almost every single game. Yay! Easy victory royale. Another day, another W, uh, as they say in my country. And after a lot more games and practice, I decided to come back the next day, where my other friend who was rated 2000 had agreed to play me in a few games. Okay, so this is the last day I actually have to prepare. Tomorrow will be the final game against Nyar Jar, aka 2500 rated player, aka my mortal enemy in this particular situation. So my friend Just Ash B is gonna be online in like 15 minutes to help me prepare, but in the meantime, uh, I think I'm just gonna play some more randoms. The first game I played was a draw, but after that warm up game, I won every single other game I loaded into. I was feeling good and had pretty high hopes for winning the match the next day. Okay, Just Ash is online. He's 2000 and rapid, so he's pretty good at the game. I guess we'll see how much I actually improved here. Okay, I think I can actually sacrifice a knight here if I'm not mistaken. According to my calculations, this is correct. The first game, I actually made a good sacrifice and won. The second game, though, I overlooked a simple tactic and lost a piece, which led to a losing endgame. Yeah, that's just a loss for me. The third game, my opponent made a mistake and I got a free bishop, winning that game. The next game, I got greedy taking this pawn and my rook got pinned to my king, so I ended up losing from this mistake. Yeah, I just shouldn't have taken that pawn. Unfortunately, Just Ash had to leave, but he left me with some words of encouragement. I asked him if he thought I could beat my friend who was 2500, and he said he thought I could 100%. Just Ash said that I had beaten him three times, and he was over 2000. This was pretty cool, and I decided to play one more person for that day. My other friend Maximo, who was 1800. I ended up playing him in five games. I drew two of them, but won all the rest. So at the end of day three, I was feeling pretty good about my chances and decided to end my practice there. Tomorrow, I would figure out if all this training would pay off, or if I had just wasted all this time training just to lose in a few games. Okay, this is a moment. Tonight is a night. We'll fight till it's over. So we play Put our hands up like this is. Okay, so we have the match, AKA the grand finale of all chess games in one hour. So I'm gonna play a few games against some randoms. See how I'm doing. See if I am prepared to get this victory royale. Okay, first game of the day. Okay, nice, we take that win. Yes, everybody falls for this opening trap. If you take with your king's pawn, you basically get checkmated. We love to see that. Okay, this is probably the last game I can play here. I have like 10 minutes until my match. Uh, this is not a healthy position if I do say so myself. Let's not lose here. Yeah, I can't win this game. I mean, I gotta resign. I hadn't lost any games up to that point, but the final game before my match, I had lost. Was this a sign of what was to come? This match would be the first to get three wins and a draw would be counted as half a point for each player. All right, now, if you lose, then, um... What is this? <laughs> look, just calm down. What the um, hell is this? Get I back. would advise taking with your king pawn. Your king's pawn, just take take back. Shut up. What's so queen and two mate with, is unstoppable? Just let me, let me think here. <laughs> I think that's a good move. You have one good move. I'm gonna go... No, because if I go there, then you go there, then I go there. Okay. Exactly. I think this is a draw here. All right, easy victory. Wow. The first game was a draw, but the way things went, I had pretty high hopes for winning the next one. Let's go like this, maybe. Mm. All right, I think this is the French defense advanced variation. Mm. I think, see, I think you're losing here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think I'm just waiting here. You you can resign if you wish. I'll offer you a resignation offer. I will do no such thing. Nah. You should have played C2, bro. Oh. Your little pawn. You should instead of moving your bishop out, you should have done that and then checked and then tried to get your pieces up. I'm nice. telling you, you missed a win. <laughs> uh, okay. The next game I probably would have won if I just had seen this pawn move, but we got another draw. The score was now 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, I'm gonna win. <laughs> no, you're no, no, you're not. You didn't even. Oh, I'm gonna win. This okay, one. buddy. I'm definitely gonna win this one. I believe I am. I think here is just a good move in general. I can win your bishop. No, you can't. And you don't even see how. Yeah, you go here, then I take, and then... Wait, what? No, you can't win my bishop. Oh, yeah? Just, uh, I'll just take it anyway. Wait, you, your knight's trapped, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm so good at this game, what can I say? Okay. I have, I have opposition. I wanna dance with somebody. Oh! 
I was literally completely winning that game, but had ran out of time. This was truly a level 10 depression moment. After a 3.5 second discussion, however, we ended up counting this as a win for me. So the score was now 2-1, and I was in the lead by one point. The next game, we traded off pieces fairly early, and I was having somewhat high hopes of winning until this happened. This was the most drawn I've ever seen. This is not, this is not drawn. Oh my god, the Zugzwang is about to be so real. To oh, that. the Zugzwang! I don't even have, I don't even have to take it. No, I think I'm, I think I'm still fine here. <laughs> <laughs> I got into an unfortunate Zugzwang position, and this cost me the game. Wow. Oh, what a, yeah. What a great All right, skill. so I have, I have to win one more, right? The score was now 2-2. All I had to do was get this next one win, and my lifelong goal of beating this 2500 would be completed. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. But, like, you just have to sack. Oh, okay. That is a computer move. Yar Jar starts off by sacrificing a knight in the opening, and I thought I was about to get an easy victory royale. After a few more moves, I realized my pieces were now trapped, and I had to sacrifice my knight as well. Bro, you copying my moves? You're not getting a victory royale. <laughs> Oh my god, the Zugzwang! There's no the Zugzwang! And at this position, I realized the mistake I had just made. Just Ash had told me this previously. It's all in the pawns, and don't let your opponent's pieces in. I had let my opponent's pieces in, and his pawns had infiltrated my position. And now, I had to sacrifice another piece. I actually 100% think that this game is a draw. You really think this is a draw, huh? Now, all that I could have hoped for was a stalemate to draw the game. Unfortunately, after getting rid of my rook, my position was completely lost. Yeah. You could have just played rook b1. Nope, calm. There's no b1. And in yard jar won it all. I was right about to win you, that. You were doing no such thing. After three days of training for this match, after trying my absolute hardest to win, I had lost. For the time I had, though, I was pretty happy with drawing two games and winning one, as well as the people I had got to meet along the way and play with who had helped me train for this match. So, thanks to all these people who helped me, as well as Nyarjar who played me in the final match. Again, this CM that helped me is a certified chess coach, so look, if you want to become better at chess, his chess.com account is linked in the description. Go message him and become a pro chess player. That's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like H2O. Goodbye.